I think the one gram of protein per pound of body weight recommendation that is all over social media right now is too much for most people. But I also think the recommended dietary allowance is too low for most people. The recommended dietary allowance is a mere 0.36, like about a third of a gram of protein per pound of body weight. And there's so much science showing that 50% more to even double that protein intake is beneficial to metabolic health because it supports higher muscle mass. And higher protein intake can help to prevent sarcopenia, which is the loss of muscle mass as we age, something that is accelerated during the perimenopausal period in females, and which increases the risk of frailty, which not only erodes the quality of life, but also increases the risk of things like falling. So while we do need more science to be able to really converge on an exact recommended protein intake and hopefully adjust the recommended dietary allowance, most of the science right now is showing that optimal protein intake, again for most people, is between half and three quarters of a gram of protein per pound of body weight. 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram body weight. There's generally no body composition or metabolic health benefits above that level of protein intake. And mixed data on whether or not exceeding that protein intake may start to tick up cardiovascular disease risk. That seems to be very dependent on the protein sources, so associated with more animal protein and not as much if that extra protein is coming from plant proteins. Now there are a handful of studies showing that people who are very physically active and who are actively losing weight may benefit from higher protein intake up to about that one gram per pound body weight. But the data is mixed. And especially if you're aiming for an energy deficit, that means that that protein intake is above 35% of your total calories. Well, now we're outside the accepted macronutrient distribution ranges and potentially sacrificing health for body composition goals. And we're in the territory of contraindications. If you don't have happy dappy kidneys, they're not gonna like that high protein intake. So look, anytime healthy diet is simplified to one thing, even if it's a, a nice round number, like one gram per pound of body weight, we are complex biological organisms. You can't simplify health-promoting nutrition to one thing.